Hello and welcome. If you have wheat flour, sugar, baking powder, lemon, cooking oil and some eggs, then you can make yourself some yummy and delicious mandazi. So yes, right over here I have my ingredients. I have measured them according to how much I will need them because I'm trying to make just few mandazis for our Sunday morning breakfast. Yes, and that's what I'm going to show you. It's really simple. You don't have to struggle a lot. It takes less time and you have breakfast in no time. So I got this mixer off of Jumia as well as the measuring cups. I am a Jumia agent so sometimes I do buy stuff for myself when I'm not making orders for my clients. Yeah and they are always really worth it and the prices are ever good. So if you need to buy something from Jumia you can always reach out to me and I will help you with the process of placing an order, uh, looking for deals, vouchers, discounts and all that and if you are not aware Jumia is celebrating the 10th anniversary this June so be sure to look out for deals and if you see something you like come back to me let me help you place that order alright. Yes, so everything now is already mixed up and my dough is ready to be cooked but I'm gonna leave it under a clean film so that I can give it more time to just blend and you know be soft, be ready to make the mandazis. yeah I have already made my mandazi chips and the next step now is to deep fry them in the hot oil that is on my jiko yes and um we'll be good to go thank you so much if you're still watching up to this point we are almost done and later on in the video I'm gonna show you how I make a temporary hot pot in my home because I currently do not have any hot pots so I have a method which I use to make sure that whenever I cook chapatis, mandazi or something that needs to stay hot for long I have a method on how to keep them hot without using a hot pot in short a homemade hot pot all right <laughs> Hey, if you are new here, please 
feel welcome my name is robertina mbula i would like to know more about you so be sure to introduce yourself in the comment section and let me know what you would like to see on this channel if you love this video leave a comment about that as well let's get to know each other let's uh, engage in the comment section give this video a like and also if you would like to join my membership there's a blue button written join just click on it and you will get access to member exclusive uh, benefits all right So this is how I make my homemade hot pot. I'm going to put uh, this foil paper inside a plastic bowl and usually after cooking everything I put it in here and cover it up with a foil paper. I can add a second layer if I need it to stay for long but this is just about it. Alright? Simple. I'm loving how these mandazis are coming out and I'm curious to know how do you know when it is time to turn the mandazi to the other side so that it can cook. Uh, usually some of them do turn on their own so I'm just curious on your end how do you do it? so much if you are still watching this was delicious we had it with some watermelon and tea and we 
loved it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a comment subscribe now if you haven't already like the video and share me out if you can thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next video bye Spite promises straight to my heart I'd never noticed But you were never there, you were never there hey. You gave me roses, set me apart